Yo, what's up guys, it's Marox again here, and today I'm gonna show you guys the best underrated weapons, or actually just generally some underrated weapons, because it, it, lately the Aimlux weapon pool has just been like AK-103s, LRPers, Channel A, BFGs and stuff like that, MP7s, Odins and stuff like that. So I want to show you guys some underrated weapons you can try out if you want some ver variety, because that's just the essence of gaming variety in my opinion. And the first thing, we have the, we have the AN. And after trying this thing out and learning that this thing has a boss mode, yes, I didn't believe it either. But this thing actually has a boss mode, as you can see. The thing, like, I think a lot of people would try the A and out see that you hold the mouse button down and it shoots like this, and it's just kind of meh because the fire rate is not very high. But what you can do is, if you tap it only once, like this, you see it uh, bursts. And that boss is stupidly strong. You can actually two burst someone if you get lucky. This thing, I would actually recommend it more like close range. By the way, here's the setup. I'll throw the setup for every gun in the, in the like, somewhere up when I show them off. But this thing is actually really strong. I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't prefer it over, and uh, like, I for sure wouldn't use it over, like, an, a, uh, an AK. But this thing is still really good, actually. I mean, look, this was just my human. This was just my mistake for being slow with bursting. I mean, you can see I just two bosses that guy. If you're not gonna hit some headshots, you can actually boss them down pretty fast. And look, that's pretty much almost around the same drop time any any other gun has, in my opinion. If you have some spare time, I definitely would recommend this thing. But yeah, this is actually really fun. But anyways, how's it guys day been? No, it's going well. Mine has been doing fine. I literally just woke up, and yeah, I'm very happy about the update. I literally can't hold my fingers still either much at least and it's actually just like waiting for the update it's actually quite a nerve wracking because it actually got me hyped a lot because i really just want to grind again get you guys guys some nice content out because i'm deviously playing my my clickbait right now and i mean you can see i literally just out there shot guy and i think he had a grease gun or something this guy forgot his gun forgot to whip his gun out the only thing you have to be mindful of is you can't burst too slow but you can't burst too fast if you burst too slow you end up uh, out of firing like, you just end up uh, going up full auto. But if you burst too fast, bit too fast, you don't burst the full, you don't burst all three rounds, like all the double rounds, because you can see, that's what a shotgun. I mean, as you can see, the thing bursts three rounds, so you wanna, like, get the rhythm down to shoot three bullets and then you switch, and then you burst again. Because close, long range, this thing is really not the strongest. But in, like, close range, this thing melts you away. Like, look. I mean, I literally, I mean, I'm doing pretty well. Unless the guy whips out the L up here, then you can't do much against it. Because the thing is, I know in, in vent, inevitably they're gonna nerf the L up here and the AK at one point. There is just no way they can't nerf them. They're just way too strong. Anyways, you can see, quite fun round. Anyways, we see us straight in the second one. All right, here we are already in the second round. And this time we have the grease gun. And a lot of people compare this thing to the MP40 because it looks like an MP40. It feels like an MP40. It reloads as fast as an MP40. Is it an MP40? Not even close. It's basically, it reloads the same. As you can see, it has pretty much the exact same reloads. But the difference is that it does a lot more damage. I think it does almost double the damage than a normal thing, than a normal gun does, than the normal MP40 does. This thing actually has quite the good damage. And why I recommend this thing over the, would I recommend this thing over the MP40 also not? Genuinely, any gun I recommend here, I would not recommend over any other gun. Because they're underrated after all. And there's not really a better gun, honestly. There just isn't. I mean, this thing is fun to use because the fire rate just feels good. And the recoil is actually not that bad. It's pretty much almost... Yeah, it's pretty much the exact same recoil as the MP40. AKA non-existent. I think everyone knows the MP40 just doesn't have any recoil because... Why not? Let's make a World War II gun that shoots as fast, that has, does as much damage as an AK-103. Do no damage. And anyways, the MP40 is another video to rant about another for another time. I have no idea where enemies are. This, I just started recording and it's uh, Monday. And the Monday lobbies are always dead because obvious reasons. Unless it's some sort of uh, daybreak or something. That just sucks. I'm out. Peace. Is he still here? Yes, he is. Nah, 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 nah. You come back now. But this is actually quite good gun, in my opinion, at least. Nothing much to talk about it. It's perfectly average, I would say. It's like, if you want an SMG that's good, but you don't have the MP7 yet, then use this thing. This thing is perfectly fine to use as an average gun. Slobby is quite dead, man. The thing is, this was the only own gun Slobby I could find. Like, 
There was one other, but it was in, uh, I think, in Japan. And I usually don't mind about laggy, like, lobbies that lag too much. Not too much, at least. But... Yeah, no. Japan is just like something, it's too much. The ping over Japan lobby, I have like 300 MS there almost. And if you know anything about Aimlock's hit rack, at 300 MS you just don't hit anything. Like, either you kill someone like 60 kilometers away, or you just don't kill them at all. That's the simple reality here. Well, let's see if we can end this lobby fast, because I want to show you guys one more. The thing is, yeah, it's hard skin. It's not, not the best to showcase a, a weapon like this, because... This thing actually kind of melts on, uh, this would definitely be a very cut down video because, oh, lobby, people are joining, yes, 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 yes. Then I can actually maybe stay in this lobby because I have to record quite a lot actually this time. Because, I, that's just how I am. I'm so grateful that this guy didn't have an AK-103. If he had an AK-103, he would have, uh, he would have killed me with ease. I mean, you can see, I would always, like, I would say, give every gun I show you here a try. If you like it, then use it. If you don't, then don't use it. Especially, like, it does, like, 22 damage, so it's 5 taps. Pretty much average kill duration of a gun. That's the thing. That's why the drop time and aim blocks, that's why some, like, the AK-103 and the LRP are so strong. The LRP are also 5 taps, but it has such a high fire rate that it practically doesn't make, really just balances out to, like, 4 bullets. And the AK-4 taps you regardless, I mean, you can see. I mean, it does pretty much almost the exact same headshot damage. But this thing is actually really strong. And it, like I said, it just feels satisfying. But now let's actually end this round. Well, anyways, this was also quite fun. We see us straight in the third round. All right, and here we have the last underrated gun, in my opinion. It's the M1 Garand. It got released quite a while ago. Don't you even dare. No, I had enough of these today. But yeah, this is the M1 Garand. One of my favorite DMRs. That's because it has a two-drop potential. And you can be toxic and just, uh, like, shoot him once, then hit him. I need to be careful. The only thing you have to be careful with this gun is... Uh, make sure you don't... Uh, Over-spam it. And yeah, this is always what happens. But yeah, this is, like... What are the competitors to this gun? There is the... Uh, Tavor, the Fell, and pretty much every other LM, uh, DMR. And is it better than T Tavor? Absolutely not. The Tavor has 23 bullets. This has 8. The Tavor also reloads fast and is mag loaded. And it one taps head in close range. This thing doesn't. Would I still give it a try? Oh, absolutely. This thing is so satisfying, especially the Blong. The Garand thing is just so nice to use on this thing. And I actually really like, quite like, enjoying, actually quite enjoy using this thing. Because it does do good damage. I mean, you can see that. You can kill him. I Did I just punch the air or something? I was pretty sure I was punching him. Or maybe it wasn't close enough. One of these two. I'm still used to the old knifing range. I'm sorry. ADSing isn't the best thing on this. And honestly, also you have to try this thing for yourself. I am not a very good dynamic clicker. Like, uh, if you don't know what dynamic clicking means, it's pretty much just like clicking on something while it's moving. Pretty much that's what it means. And I'm not very good at it. I'm something that can... As, as soon as I shoot, I can keep track of it. Yes. Anything after that? No, that's up. That's over my comprehension but i mean it sounds nice eight bullets 60 damage per hit or it does a thing at the closest 55 so it's actually really strong and obviously the gramping is just satisfying why do you have a shotgun my friend i don't like people with shotgun because i am because i'm one myself but i mean you can see i would probably recommend this thing for people that have a more passive playstyle, or do you guys want a nice spammy weapon to end it with there's someone else here, right? Garampang, nice. Everything, just perfect. And if you guys want, like, another, like, series of these, more of these guns, then let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to cover more underrated guns. Let's be, like, every Paragon player and peak corners. This guy is an LRP, so I can't do much against that. Man, I really just waited and nerfed it again because after they buffed it, they just made it the strongest gun again. And in my opinion, they could have stayed just nerfed. Perfectly fine. As I think they nerfed the damage to like 18 per hit max. And it also uh, reloaded a little bit slower. I mean, in my opinion, it could benefit a bit with a reload buff. And also a dead reload fix. Because, oh, does it have a dead reload? Yeah, like maybe 250 milliseconds. But oh, that's really about it. And here we got the 40. 
42. Uh, 41 kills. This is actually pretty good. Anyways, if you guys want more on the Riddick guns, let me know in the comments. But anyways, I think that's all that I enjoyed the today's video. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and obviously subscribe. It's the best way to show me that you guys like the content that I make. But anyways, I hope you guys all had a nice day. I'm Rosium's content creator, and we see us straight in the next one. Ciao, ciao.